Today, July 30, 2022, Saturday, we went to one of the oldest bee farms in the nation. It is the Bee Weaver Farm. They started this business in 1800. It is located in Navasota, Texas. It is an educational tour which our family really enjoy. They're alive. They're moving. Ah, it's crazy. Are you taking a video or a picture? A picture and a video. Picture video. Picture video. Where's the queen? Someone? Find a queen. I don't see the queen. Is it on both sides? Where is it? Where is it? Don't, don't open this one. It's amazing. That is so creepy. Why is it creepy? Stay cool. Where is the queen? I've heard that bees can sense fear. Is that true? It is absolutely true. Um, not only just fear, they can just sense vibes. Um, I've had a bee that was very close to me, and it was very close to me. She and her boyfriend broke up during lunch one day. Um, the bees absolutely just tore her to pieces the rest of the day. They were so mad. They picked the side. Find her a lot faster. 
um, in beads. That way we know how old she is. Um, as queen producers, we make like thousands of queens every year. Um, we sell these to other beekeepers, and so in order to help beekeepers know um, when they're called, like when their queens, how old their queens are, and also to help them know that it's the same queen they installed and not when they're high raised on their own, we do mark our queens. Each year gets a different color. So this year, 2022. So which one is it? She's right here. Oh. Oh. She's laying an egg. Oh. Oh, I see the queen. Mm -hmm. It looks different. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't, why don't I see any stingers? Well, the stingers are very hard to see because bees are already tiny and the stingers are at the very ends of their abdomen and they don't even get their stingers out unless they feel threatened. And right now these guys, these ladies are just chilling, so they're not threatened. <laughs> Hi, little bee. So if y'all look and see, why you'll see they... the... Um, cells that are covered with like a brown papery substance, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are all of the, those papery things are the cocoons of the developing bees. So everywhere you see that brown in the middle, this brown papery texture, there's a baby bee and they're developing. And then the corners where you see the brown waxy stuff, that is capped honey. Mm -hmm. They can, yeah. That's good. Oh. Getting... Can I get some more? Oh! <laughs> can I eat it? Yeah, but you should get a little bit more than that. Here, catch the stuff that's running down. Um, so that's called getting honey bound. Um, that has a lot to do with the management of colony. So Wait, chance. let's look for a good example. Uh, I put it in my blue box. Let's say that I didn't have the blue box on top. It was just those two deeper boxes. Um, if I, that was my colony and I wasn't going in there every two weeks like I should, mm. um, there's a possibility that in the springtime, whenever the nectar is abundant, you can only do it once. There's so much honey in that top of the box that the queen will run out of room to lay eggs, and that can limit how big a colony can grow. Um, so it's really important as beekeepers you um, manage the bee space. Where do well. I put the? Oh, there's a trash bin right here. Uh, because bees are really good at doing their job. We just have to give them the right tools to do it yeah. well, or to do it, like, yeah. not safely, but to do it in a way that um, is productive for us. So, um, we recommend that you write, uh, you start your colony every two weeks. Up. No, you can do it in mm -hmm. Australia. So, Australia is the one place, um, the one country that had not gotten um, burrow hides. So they had held out like 25 yeah. years not getting burrow hides. 